Hi. Well, what do you think of the new opening? Tried something a little different. I thought we'd broadcast the, the title of this question first, which now I got to read. So George in Lakeside, California asks, why does PS Audio not manufacture 20 amp IEC power cords? And wouldn't the BHK power amps and the P10 regenerator better be served with a 20 amp power cord attached to 20 amp receptacles on the units? Well, George, that's a really good question. And for those of you that don't know or are outside of this country, in the United States, most of the AC receptacles are 15 amps, and they are connected to a 15 amp circuit breaker, and that can draw <clears throat> 1,700, I think it's 1,750 watts or so, and, and which is plenty for almost anything you want to do including a P10, including a BHK amplifier. There's no way that either of those products is going to consume more than the 15 amps available through the 15 amp circuit breaker and receptacle. That said, a lot of companies like to put bigger ones, the 20 amp. Now, a 20 amp will give you 2,400 watts, I believe. The, the formula is simple, and I'm not great at math. So it's amps times volts equals watts, so in, in its simplest form. So 20 amps times 120, yeah, 2,400 watts. So there's no need for that. And the difference in the connector, which is basically just one of the pins is flipped over so that you don't mix the two up and plug one into the other. It really doesn't make a whole lot of difference unless you really need that much more power. Now, I've seen some big Diagostino amps, some big Krell amps that really do require that extra wattage, that extra amperage that a 20 amp would provide. And in that case, it kind of makes sense. And we have a new power plant coming out called the P20. Now the 20, cleverly named because it has a 20 amp IEC on the back, is able to put out quite a few more watts, a lot more power than the P10, which kind of makes sense. And, and the thing is huge, okay? It's, it's really big, giant handles on the front, although <laughs> a couple of people at the show said, kind of looks like a microwave. <laughs> Hey, I think it looks really cool. I love the thing. I, I can't wait to replace my two P10s in the Music Room 1 with a uh, set of uh, P20s. But it has a 20 amp receptacle on there. So one quick thing to bring up before we, before we leave. Most aftermarket power cords and most receptacles in our homes are 15 amp, at least in this country. And because of that, there aren't a lot of 20 amp power cables and receptacles to plug them into. So one of the problems is that we have these collections of high-end <clears throat> power cords, and we won't be able to use them on a 20 amp IEC connector. You're gonna have to buy a whole new set of cables to plug into these uh, 20 amp devices. And we don't even manufacture a 20 amp power cable. So there is that problem. And on the P20, what we did to solve that is we ca cleverly came up with a little window. And when you pull the, the mechanical window aside, you'll see the 20 amp connector. And if you have a 20 amp power cord, plug it in, plug it into your 20 amp receptacle, you're good to go. But if you don't, slide the window back this way, and there is a 15 amp. Plug that into your receptacle. Yes, you get fewer watts, but the P20 performs just as well up to that certain point. And we did that because of this very problem with so many people not having those power cords available. So when you buy a P20, the worst thing that would happen is, you know, I can't plug it in, right? So when you do get a 20 amp, you can handle it. And the engineers cleverly made a little micro switch in there that resets everything in the P20 
so that the maximum wattage won't exceed a safe level. I hope that answers your question, and thank you very much for asking it. Bye-bye.